From decades of industrialized farming, our soil has degraded to the point that it has become unable to support plant life. Droughts plague the lands from the west, and as sea levels rise from the east, floods sweep in, flooding countries and threatening our ability to survive by endangering the systems we've engineered to produce our food. With the rise of climate change and environmental issues, the pollinators we depend on in producing our crops will cease to exist. This is the nightmare that Arusia Gabrielian, a landscape architect, fears. In order to prepare us for such a future, she believes that we must stop creating and relying on systems that only serve us, and instead, start creating systems that make us more one with nature. Gabrielian is exploring a new way for us to survive as a species, an idea that was inspired by the transformation she was undergoing while she was pregnant. When Gabrielian was pregnant with her daughter, she saw her body undergo changes that would allow her to deliver the exact nutrients her preborn child needed. Inspired by the body's ability to support life, and with her growing concerns on how to address climate change, she began wondering if as humans we could use our own bodies to feed more than just babies. Just like how fetuses are surrounded by a cloak of nutrients in their mother's womb, what if we could live by surrounding our bodies with some kind of mobile, nutrient-rich landscape that not only benefited ourselves, but also served as an ecosystem for plants, animals, and insects? And this mobile landscape that Gabrielian was envisioning came in the form of a wearable garden vest which would grow you personal crops. This is what that vest looks like. These vests are made by leveraging a special type of fabric that is used in creating vertical gardens that don't require any soil as developed by the French botanist Patrick Blanc. This fabric creates the moisture retention felt in which seeds are embedded. But how are these seeds fertilized and nurtured, you wonder? Well, through your own waste. The design of this vest includes a system that would use your sweat and urine, which is captured through a catheter and filtered through a process called forward osmosis, as was developed by NASA to be used in space for delivering to the crops a source of irrigation. Urine is 95% water and low in pathogens, making it an easy irrigation and water system to tap into. In addition to using your waste as fertilizer, the vest would also obtain nutrients from the other creatures that occupy the vest. That's right, you'll have an entire habitat on your back filled with crawling insects and small animals like birds and rodents that help nurture that delicious farm you're growing. Prototypes of this garden vest yielded 20 pounds of crops over only a few weeks and was able to grow 40 different types of vegetables. Gabrielian's prototypes of this garden vest as post-apocalyptic as it may seem, is a different outlook in how we can live our lives, and what we may be reduced to if things don't change. Instead of relying on the many systems we've set up right now, which have proven to be unsustainable, we may be forced to move to systems that make us more one with nature, constantly living in a state of symbiosis, where as humans we serve not only as the consumers, but also as the guardians of nature. How does this garden vest make you feel? Would you ever wear this? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe with notifications. And I'll see you on the next one.